Hey everyone, I'm back with another video today and I want to talk about my food storage system. Um, depending on where you're going, a food storage system can change greatly. Um, certain places will require you to carry a bear can, for instance. Um, some places may have bear lockers. Other places might do bear poles or pre-existing bear lines. Um, in many places, you might just sleep with your food in your tent. Um, and in some cases, you might need to hang your food uh, with your own guy line or paracord of some sort. So my um, food system right here is built with the idea of through hiking. Um, I could fit it in a bear can if, you know, in certain places where I need to. I can also hang it if I need to. Um, and really, it's just meant for keeping my food contained and not spilling all over my clothes and sleep stuff and all that. So let's get started. This is my food bag. It's a Z-Pax large DCF food bag. Um, has a Velcro top, uh, buckles on each side so I can roll it and close it with the buckles, um, which is nice. It also has a small carabiner on it, which you don't necessarily have to keep on there, but really easy to just quickly like hang onto a bear pole or bear line if you need. Now, inside of my food bag, um, I have two OP sacks. Um, I got these on Amazon. They're the large odor-proof bags. Um, it's got like a double zipper, double zipper top, and it is designed for odor-proofing your food, uh, which is useful for anywhere you go um, to avoid, you know, little chipmunks and marmots and things trying to get into your food. It's good to keep them in. A Ziploc bag. So I have two of them. Um, they don't weigh much, obviously, but I guess you wouldn't. You don't need two of them. But what I like to do is I have one with all of my food in it, my actual food, and then one where I keep my uh, stove and ditties, like toothpaste. Um, you know, stuff like that, that also might smell. And then inside of this one, I keep a Ziploc bag for f trash, like food wrappers and stuff. Uh, and I just throw that in here. So um, as I eat through my food, uh, all the wrappers and things will make their way into here and into this secondary bag, um, which is just, I don't know, that's my system. So. Both of those go into my large food bag, and uh, I can easily store, oh, I don't know, probably five or six days worth of food, maybe more if I needed to. I haven't tried to stretch it that far, but I can store a lot of food and uh, my stove and my ditties in those bags. And then at the bottom of my food bag, I keep 50 feet of guy line. Um, this is the z uh Slick Line. Uh, I believe it's 50 feet, and it's designed so that um, you can use it on trees. Uh, it's got like a slick feel to it. Um, I don't know if it's coated or just like, I don't know, but it rolls over the branches a little bit easier instead of kind of digging into them, which can be really frustrating. I've broken some guy line by doing that. So um, yeah, this is designed for hanging food. And if you were to buy one of their bear bag kits, this is what you would get in it. So, um, yeah, I just keep that in my food bag. It does not weigh much at all. And good to have some line on you anyway. If I needed to tie something off, even like my rain fly or something, I could use a little bit of this and that would work just fine. So, that's my whole food system. I've got a large food bag with a carabiner on it, um, two odor-proof sacks, a waste bag, like a Ziploc on the inside of that, and 50 feet of guy line. That is my food storage system um, for any, almost anywhere that I would go uh, unless I was required to carry a bear can or something like that. But uh, 
Let me know your thoughts, any um, tips and tricks you can leave in the comments, talk about it. Uh, please subscribe, like, share this video, and I'll see you soon.